Welcome to a new Radiology Bits video. Today's case is a basic case mainly targeting interns, students, and junior residents. As we agreed before, if you see this sign, please pause to think about the provided image. Pause here. Now, after looking at this image for a while, you may or may not have detected the abnormality. If you didn't, I'm going to give you a hint that this patient presented with acute left-sided chest pain. Now to the discussion. At a first glance to an untrained eye, you might not see the abnormality. However, it's an extremely important finding. Now try to compare both hemithoraces. Compare the right lung with the left lung. Let's magnify the image. If you look at the right lung, you're going to notice that the lung markings reach all the way to the bones, to the periphery. However, that's not the case on the left side. The first thing you notice is that there is a smooth, thin line that actually displaces the lung markings inwards, and that's why you don't see any lung markings at the lung apex. Both these signs are classic signs for a pneumothorax. So the presence of a visceral pleural line and absence of lung markings beyond that line are signs of a pneumothorax. The take-home point from such a case is that lung markings should reach all the way to the periphery on any normal chest radiograph. If that's not the case, please make sure you're not missing a pneumothorax, especially in a patient who presents with chest pain. It's a serious diagnosis. Remember, a small pneumothorax, if missed, could convert to a tension pneumothorax, which is a serious condition. Thank you for watching. Please share our videos, subscribe, like, and join our Twitter account. See you later.